don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar is going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> She's got wings. <laughs> wow, she's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. She looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Ow! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach? Yes. It is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly, which is a shame because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly plant! <laughs> Nanny Plum! Magic is up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um... Would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well... Nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. 
but we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf. What fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's mud. Mud? No, it's mud. Mustard? Ma. Marshmallows? Ma. Ma. Melted cheese? Ma. 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 Magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the great elf engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint, and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness, where's that going to go? It's hideous. <laughs> The things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, yeah, Pippin. <laughs> Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again! The wheel's heading for the great elf tree! We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Um, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. 
At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. If we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain! Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now we wait, but not for long. We'll be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. We're not going anywhere. Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. Hang on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big. He's too bad. We have to let him go. Never. Aha! He's given up. I don't think so. He's eating the lime. Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give it. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> ah! He's eating Banty! <laughs> Launch the lifeboat! <laughs> Abandon ship! Women, children and kings first! Oh, Banty! <laughs> woo! 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 Nanny, are you OK? Uh, yes. At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <laughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs. Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Ah! Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! <laughs> Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Ben? I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. Level one, the computer room. <laughs> that was fun. It made my tummy all funny. Good, wasn't it? And it'll be even better next time. What do you mean, next time? <laughs> You'll see. Follow me. This is where we decide what the toys will look like. Don't you just make it up as you go along? Oh, no, no, no. The toys are designed to the very last detail. Nothing is left to chance. Gosh, it seems like a lot of hard work to me. 
We pride ourselves on our thoroughness. This is where we choose the colours. That's the doll for Father Christmas. Yes. Now, for example, if I wanted to, I could change the colour of the doll's dress from red to blue. Blue dress. The elf factory would then know to paint the doll's dress blue. But Father Christmas wants the dress red. Of course he does, Princess Holly. That was just an example. All aboard! Next stop, the Elf Factory. Oh, we don't have to go down again, do we? <laughs> yes, Nanny. The factory is deep down in the roots of the tree. How deep down? Very, Very deep, deep down. down. Oh. <laughs> All aboard! We're not going down very much. Just you wait, Tolly. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> <Whoa>! oh. <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That! Or make these seats more comfortable. Ow. Stop it, Nanny! You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing, a bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs. Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs. Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs. Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Quick, run. It's Elf Joke Day. Oh, I love jokes. I don't think they're very funny. <laughs> you should learn to have a sense of humour, Holly. Come on, Holly. Let's have some fun. Yes. Today's lesson can be how to have fun. Off you go. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> a spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 ho! Happy Elf Joke Day! Ho, 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 ho! Mr Elf! I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Oh, oh, hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, 
Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. <laughs> Yes. Now let's see if all that soap got that stain out. Oh, Daddy's crown is a bit bent. And his shoes are all soggy. Oh dear. Were the king's clothes always this small? <gasps> They've shrunk. Nanny Plum, are the king's clothes clean? That's Mummy. Uh, nearly ready, Your Majesty. Nanny, what are we going to do? Maybe, when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them. But the tailor said you shouldn't use magic. Oh, I'll only use a teeny, tiny, gentle little spell. Ahem. Abracadabra, make clothes dry. Thunder and lightning, flame and fire! <coughs> Nanny Plum, quick, give me the king's new clothes. Our guests will be here any minute. Where are the clothes, Nanny Plum? <laughs> and what's that smell? We washed Daddy's clothes, but they shrunk. And then Nanny burnt them with magic. My goodness. Daddy will have to wear his old clothes then, I suppose. But we cleaned Daddy's old clothes too. What? You mean he has no clothes to wear? Uh, yes. Hello. Where are my clothes? Nearly ready, darling. I'm all clean now. Nanny will bring you your clothes in a moment. And I smell lovely. Nanny, call the elf tailor. <coughs> ah, too late. That's King and Queen Marigold. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's okay. I'll magic one. Zing zang zingy zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old day. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. My name's Ben. And I'm Princess Holly, but you can call me Holly. That's nice. You can call me Mr Gnome. I need a deck chair and a fishing rod. Why do you need a fishing rod on a golf course? So I can pretend to fish. Pretend to fish? Moles don't like it when I pretend to fish. Now quick, before the mole comes back. Abracadabra, 
cheese sandwiches. One bucket of tea. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Mr Nime needs a deck chair and a fishing rod quickly. So he can pretend to fish. Oh dear. I thought this might happen. We have flattened all the hills. So, um, goodbye. Thank you, wise old elf. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. What's that noise? Hello, Nanny Plum. What is it, Ben? I haven't got time to be answering the door to elves. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to... Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. I've got a new watch. Wow. Is it a real watch? Yes. You can hear it ticking. Oh, yes. Can you tell the time, Ben? Not yet, but we're going to learn how to tell the time at school today. Yes. Well, I'm sure you don't want to be late. I'm an elf. Elves are never late. <coughs> Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. I wish I had a watch. Whatever for, Princess Holly? If I had a watch, I could tell the time. We fairies don't need watches. We have different ways of telling the time. Like what, Nanny? We have dandelion clocks. Here's a good one. How can a dandelion tell the time? We count how many puffs it takes to blow away all the seeds. Like this. <gasps> one. <gasps> two. <gasps> three. It took three puffs. That means... Three o'clock. <laughs> I want to go. One. That means one o'clock. Wow. So is it really one o'clock? <laughs> Not really. It's just a game. But Ben's learning to tell the time properly. Can I go to his lesson? Oh, all right. But I'm sure it won't be much fun. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Look, King Thistle! Gaston's getting better! Wow, splendid! And the pixie pound has seen a drop um, um, to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, this programme is just right. <laughs> Look, Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cage. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, but have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. 
you're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. Heave ho, heave ho, dig ho, dig dig ho, dig 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 dig. Heave ho, heave ho, over you go, over you go. Princess Holly, would you do the honors by tapping the bucket? <laughs> To door. I'll soon sort that out. <laughs> ah, there's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle, I've decided I'm not Princess Holly anymore. I am Queen Holly. And I am King Ben. <laughs> 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 my, my, it's almost home time. Oh, Dad, can't we stay in the castle a little bit longer? But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum! We promise. Oh, look, the sea is coming closer. That's great! Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh! Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Now, where were we? You just said hocus pocus, plinkety plonk. Oh, yes. Ahem. <coughs> hocus pocus, plinkety nanny plum. Oh, bother. What can he want now? Nanny! I want a cup of tea! Yes, yes, coming! Uh, this card will never get made. I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about... Make me a birthday card, super duper quick. <laughs> it worked. Come on, silly paintbrushes. Hurry up. I haven't got all day. Brushes. I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam, pop, zip, pow! More, bigger, faster, now! Oh, it's going a bit wrong. <laughs> Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket. More, more, more. Basket, basket. More, more, more. Phew. For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood. Jelly flood. Jelly flood. Flood! Ah! Oh! Jelly flood! <laughs> 
<laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. <coughs> it worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. <coughs> Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny! What did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here. A cobweb there. Brilliant! Sit up, Zessy. Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there. It's a jackdaw. And it's got my wand. Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> <coughs> we should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Goodness me! Shh! 
This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow. It's huge. There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh. And books about how things work. Wow! A rocket book! There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves! My favourite! Books about animals. Oh, chickens! That's interesting! Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah! Here we are, a book on stars. Ugh, what's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Ah, uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. <laughs> she's got wings. <laughs> wow, she's a butterfly. Betty, butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. She looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Where are we going? To the kitchen. We can use Nanny Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot. to make ice cream all day long. Oh, dear. <laughs> <sighs> we'll soon be home. Yes, 
And it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes. Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, is it is it is soft. Stop! 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 For you! That's better! Um... Ah! Under the bed. That must be Lucy's mummy. Oh no! The window shut. How will we get out? This is elf work. Elves are good at opening windows, and I'm an elf. <gasps> Stop, Ben. You'll wake Lucy. Sorry. Hmm, I think we're going to need more than one elf. I'll ring for more elves. Oh, where can I get a signal on my phone? Don't stand too close, Ben. Ah, help! Uh, what did Nanny say? Oh, yes, beat your wings. But I'm an elf. I don't have wings. OK, um... Flap your arms! Uh. Hello! <gasps> You're meant to be asleep! You're not supposed to see us! Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything! <laughs> yes! And this is Ben. He's an elf! <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. <laughs> Too fast! The mill is out of control! It's filling up with flour! Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down! <sighs> All right! I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind! No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. Ah! <gasps> I hope they're OK. Ah! They don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. Ah! Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. What did he say? Stop the wind! Oh, OK. All winds, away you go! Oompa, 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. 
We like Oompa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, it's charming, but I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things, and the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? She likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? Well, jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? No problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I'll just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum! More, more, more! Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What? Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! Jerry It's another map! Ooh! The X! Shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Pieces of eight. Oh, goodness me. Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. 
take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lift up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! Oh dear. I think the king has found them. <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. <laughs> Here, Froggies! <laughs> this way! <laughs> <laughs> this is my ring! And these are my toys! Crank! 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 Let's play hide and seek. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Let's play another game. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bedtime, Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. <laughs> Good night, Roggies. <laughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. Yeah. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes, I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh! <gasps> oh dear! It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Ooh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs. Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr. Elf. Goodness me, Mrs. Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible! Oh no! The twins have made all the elves invisible! Uh, who's going to help us now? Hmm. It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. Uh. Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mom. 
Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. 